So you crawled your way out of the Fade. It's not difficult for those who treat spirits better than tools to an end, Johanna. Sentimental drivel. You may have stopped my work here, but Navarra City will know its new ruler. Look, that lantern's dangerous. Why don't we talk about this? Uh, dangerous to those who fail to realize what can be done with it! Though the professor clearly avoided mentioning his old colleague in exile. We made every attempt to bring you to reason. I gave you every chance to join me instead of whining endlessly about your mortality. But I must thank you for returning something dear to me. Lovely to have my hand back. Oh, I'd exchanged it with the Venatori for some favors after entering this condition. What have you done? What you never had the courage to. Looks like we'll see just how dangerous that lantern is. Still sense anything wrong? We were successful. Johanna's magic no longer chains the spirits, and the fade is still. Great, okay. But let's talk back at the lighthouse. At least we freed those spirits from their suffering. Shall we depart? Let's get back to the lighthouse. Gladly. Oh, the Song of the Chambers won't have anything on what Johanna's... Perhaps the Waking Scrolls? No. Manfred, have you seen the Felmarch manuscripts? You and Manfred need an extra pair of eyes for whatever this is. I suppose it's time I explained this mess. Johanna Hesenkos was a watcher. 
She was banished for embracing the darker paths of our art. Forbidden magic, blood sacrifice, nothing is beyond her if it leads to power, recognition, or both. It sounded like you knew her before all that. We were friends, once. If it helps, you've got someone who cares right next to you. That's very dear of you, but I'll be fine. It's so cute how you're such a bad liar. <sighs> Things used to be much better between Johanna and me. She truly was brilliant, and we got on so well as students. We partnered on papers, rituals, research. Yet even then, Johanna considered the Watcher's oaths quaint. This isn't the first time we've crossed paths since she was exiled, but now I fear she's turned herself partly undead. Even after what she's done, I feel a little bad for her. Well, undeath isn't always a disadvantage. <clears throat> But yes, you saw Johanna's Lantern of Unwilling Souls. A necromancer could create monstrous undead with that much stolen life. Hesengaz was yelling a lot about conquering Navarra City. We must stop her, Rook. <coughs> Thank you, Manfred. Quite right. The Order's knowledge will see us through. Hesengaz had been stopped. For now. But she had big plans for Navarra. City conquering, new ruler plans. <laughs> and while she had some regrets about long lost friendships, she knew her greatest invention was going to bring down the house. <laughs>